Where is that fat fuck? Where's my piggy pig? Where's my poogie? Is he back here? Poogie poogie! Where is my pig? There he is. There you are, Pigston Churchill. I missed you, buddy. You're the best. There we go. Now we're fucking right. Now we're fucking ready. So we're just gonna do it like this. So I've... I've tried to figure out a few different ways of... of telling these war stories. And, um... I've had computer problems and fucking... landlord problems and... car accident problems and... All sorts of just shit happened to me lately, and I've had a hard time getting my thoughts together and figuring out what the best medium is to, to tell the crazy shit I went through in my time overseas. Um, and I, I didn't do anything super badass or anything Hollywood-like, but... I definitely almost died a couple times, and the only reason I didn't is literally sheer luck. And I really want to share that. I'm gonna tell a short, a shorter story. So we'll do, um, we'll do something easy and just shit on something and have fun. Cause I just got the raging Brachiato sword. I'm way behind on this. So we're just going to shit on something fun and small, and uh, I'll tell a story while I do that. Start this back up. Something easy and simple we can just shit on. Probably another Rathalos. Yeah, I like fighting Rathalos. It's a fucking classic, man. So yeah, I had some problems last night with my uh, recording stuff, and I had to redo it. Um, so I just got up this morning and got my coffee. We're going to get this story recorded. So I fought in Afghanistan in 2011-2012 as a military police officer. My job was to train Afghan soldiers and police basic soldiering skills, shoot, move, communicate, um, how to do op orders, how to... Um, change op orders, how to, all the basics. And um, we'd come back from a mission, and basically our, our mission tempo was pretty high. Um, so we come back from mission, we pull into the motor pool, all of our trucks in a convoy, got these big Max Pro trucks. And, um, oh, that was cool. Got these big Max Pro trucks, come in in the convoy, pull into the... Um, the motor pool, park all our vehicles, get out, start getting our our uh, gear all laid out, and um, my buddy Broom, why did I get thrown off? My buddy, um, my buddy Broom walks up to me and we start talking, just bullshitting, leaning up against this uh, Hesco wall, and if you don't know what a Hesco is, a Hesco barrier is like this big burlap sack inside of a fence square, they're like three feet by five feet by ten feet or whatever and they get in varying sizes but you make walls out of them you fill them with dirt and they're like good for making bases and places where you get shot at a bunch um, anyway we get out of our trucks and <laughs> we get out of our trucks and we're all sitting there just chilling leaning up against the wall my buddy broom and a staff sergeant whose name I cannot remember off the top of my head right now and I feel so bad and this is National Guard, mind you. So this staff sergeant is like a, is like a school teacher back at, back at in South Carolina. He's like a, like an English teacher, I believe. So like nobody would think this dude's a fucking badass. And um, so we're leaning up against the wall, just talking shit to each other, winding down from the mission, and this. Um, A patch of dirt hits my face. Just out of nowhere, I thought someone threw a rock at me. And it kind of took me a second, and then we heard the pop. And, um... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> He's got me. Fuck. Oh, shit. We heard the pop. 
and um, we had gotten shot at by a sniper from inside the city. And um, Broom is like, oh shit! And I'm like, oh fuck! And the staff sergeant's like, well they almost got me! Do you boys hungry? Did you get some dinner? We got chicken back there. And he's just, um, well, I'm playing like absolute trash. I'm not even paying attention. And just his, uh, his attitude toward the whole thing was just so casual. And he had deployed before in a combat role. He was like some administrative position now. And he'd only went on missions randomly when he got bored, basically. But, um, he was an absolute fucking badass, and you would never expect it. He almost got his head taken off by, like, a 7.62 round, and his only response was, Do you boys get some lunch? Do you boys eat? We got some good fried chicken in there. <laughs> Just wild times. You meet some of the boldest people, I swear. But, um, yeah, here's, this is my attempt number two at telling this story. At least for the last two days. I really hope you guys like it. I'm having a hard time getting my head together right on how to tell everything else. A lot of it is hard. But, uh, anyway. Real simple, real short. Real story. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.